Assalamualaikum and salam to everyone. For today, we want to discuss on how we do we record the transaction related to purchases or acquisition of accounting for non-current asset. Before we go to the calculation example for the calculation, we want to know the basic idea on how we determine the property plan and equipment. If we want to record the value for PPE, we first of course uh, include the cost price uh, stated in the invoice, including cost to prepare the PPE for its intended use. For example, in this question, for example, transportation charges, installation, testing, sales tax, and legal fees. These expenses depending on the nature of the asset. Okay, so we go straight to the example for the question. For this question, for this question, uh, for Sharikat Samsuri on January 2024, 2024, uh, related given given the question related cost involved during the purchases of the office equipment, and the question asks you to calculate the cost of purchasing the cost of purchasing the printer and prepare the general entries. First thing first, we want to decide and. Identify which cost involved in the purchasing of office equipment, which is related that can be included into the office equipment. So, as you can see here, the first thing is invoice price. So, this is definitely we want to include into the PPE into the office equipment office equipment account and the related transaction the, and the related expenses including transportation insurance installation sales tax but for fire but for fire insurance these expenses is not included into the office equipment value because it's considered revenue expenditure revenue expenditure if we don't pay the fire insurance we still can have the office equipment in, the, in our business okay and then we calculate then we get the total for the total for the all expenses related and the invoice price so this total we go and prepare the general entries using that value so we record the journal on the day of the transaction in this question january 1st 2024 we will debit office equipment and we will credit bank and for the fire insurance we will record uh, separately from the value of office equipment and we record it as uh, prepaid insurance and bank cre at credit side so that's it on how we want to record uh, purchases of non-current asset okay thank you